in this session we will learn about how to create custom connectors i have got one free public domain api which is https restcountries.com this api provides information about countries via a restful api so let's go to this endpoint so we will use this name endpoint so let me copy this endpoint and paste it so here in the name i pass one country japan so whenever we pass country name to this endpoint it will return the information for that country so we will leverage this api to build our custom connector so we will consume two properties of this api first is capital and another is population navigate to makes.powerapps.com click on solutions so i'll choose this solution finance tracker click on new automation custom connector provide the name of the connector get country details so there are five stages to create custom connectors journal security definition ai plugin code and test so let's complete each section one by one so this upload connector icon so this will allow to change the icon of the connector so here you can set the background color of this connector so we will keep this default setting as it is so here schema you can choose either https or http as our connector is on https so we will choose https here now we'll copy and paste our host url here which is restcountries.com now click next on security tab so here you can provide the authentication so as we are using a public api so authentication is not required in our case otherwise you can choose any authentication which one is required click next on definition now we need to define an action over here click on that so in summary you can just write the summary of this and get details so in operation id you can provide the unique string to identify this operation so i'll write here get country details so we need to provide the request click on import from sample as we are getting the information from api so we will choose get so in the url i'll copy it from here and paste it click on import in the name click on edit you can see validation successful go back so now we need to provide the response click on add default response so now we have to paste the json over here we get this response from api copy that in a notepad now we need only capital and population so i'll cut short and use only this api key and paste it in the body section now click on import go to ai plugin preview click on create connector so custom connector has been successfully created so just click on code so we don't need to do anything over here now click on test so we need to create the connection click on new connection we got the connection so now here pass one country to test the api for example let's pass japan click on test operation you can see we have got the response from the api so here our validation is also succeeded so now our custom connector is complete so let's use that in our power app applications i'll close this now open power app application i'll choose one blank app so in the data section go to connectors 
you can see our connector is visible here click on that so here uh, we see the title is not updated so let me update that country details okay so let me add one text box and two labels one for capital and another is for population I'll create a copy of those I'll make it bold I'll add one button get country details all right so here uh, I'll write one so here I'll declare global variable to get the value of this connector API so here first I get the capital so I'll write here country details dot get country details so here we need to pass the country so I'll pick the country from this input text box so I'll provide input text input one dot text dot so this will return a table so I'll get only the first record first of those dot capital I'll create another variable population so now run the application and in the input I'll pass country name as Japan if I close it let's see our variables so here you can see capital we got the table and in the value we got the Tokyo and the population we got the population so let's so let's set the value of this variable so here I'll write so capital we are getting in capital variables So I got the capital and for population I'll use population global variable so here I got the population so let's test our connector run it so instead of Japan I'll put as Brazil Pakistan so we got the capital and the population China we got the Beijing and the population so this is how we can use the custom connector in our Power App applications. Thank you.